Hello! In this session, I quickly want to demonstrate what's possible with the new features in the Acaris Excel add-in, and in particular covering the new direct query drill through and editing features. So what we see here is um, a pivot table. This is just a normal pivot table with rows and um, measures that um, I've put here from a table that was linked to a carries. And you can link a carries tables either with the carries power sync. So for example, if you want to link a um, Power BI data model, you can just um, either connect to the Power BI desktop that I've done here and then add any of the model tables from any source to a carries. Or the other option is to use directly the modeler so here we see the Actaris modeler that has already a lot of tables added. These tables can either be added um, using the ERP and software as a service integrations. So uh, you can see a few of them here, or you can add them via the instant link feature in Actaris where you can link to um, a variety of data sources and um, link the table to a carry. So we can see here, here's a linked one, that's a blue one. The other ones um, are directly generated by the user or with um, one of the software as a service and ERP system connected. So here we see, for example, one with um, accounts. This one, the users can uh, edit, so they can add new columns to it. Uh, they can add new elements to it. And then you can directly connect from Excel to this table. So here we have a table uh, that is coming from an accounting system uh, that was automatically added um, uh, by Acaris. And we have added three columns here. Um, so this is for, for a requirement where the user wants to prepare the data for R&D grants, research and development grants, where they want to qualify accounting transaction with an R&D percentage, so what R&D percentage applies, and then also with comments. And so this Actaris table that was extended by these columns, um, I've used here now to uh, build this pivot table. And this is a direct query straight to the SQL source of the Actaris table. So Actaris stores the tables typically in SQL. So this is directly going through that in the live mode. So if there's a change, this will be auto automatically reflected here. So um, what the interesting thing is here now, normally in direct query in the pivot table, there is no drill through. It's, it's not supported. You can do it in an import mode one, but not in direct query. And there's also no option to configure it. Here, you have now the option to, on the one hand, use the uh, drill through. And on the other hand, you can configure it. And the coolest thing, you can also edit them. This means directly writing it to the underlying SQL table. But let's have a look. So here we see now the pivot table with the elements that we put into the table. So account type, account name, and um, a few measures. And what I can do here now is I can click on a particular value, right click, a carry drill through. And now we'll get all the records that make up this particular value. So, so you know all the transaction from the underlying transaction table plus the new columns that we added uh, in a carry. So this means the source table wouldn't be affected, but you have the additional metadata uh, in a carry and it's managed there. And what I can do here now is I can now uh, use all the Excel features to edit things. So for example, you could say I want to apply uh, a 10% uh, R&D percentage here and I want to make a comment and I could also use Excel functions here uh, I can copy and paste things that are impossible in Power Bear so that's still a very good argument for uh, using Excel and once I'm finished I can just click one button here update the underlying table. We see that it only took a second. If we go back here now and refresh this table, this will also be very fast because this is in direct query. If you would uh, connect this in import mode or using Power Pivot, uh, the update here would take ages. 
but here I see now immediately the calculation was calculated correctly, so 10% uh, R&D percentage for all the records uh, were applied, and I see the result of $410 for R&D refunds. I can see aut automatically how the total has changed, and I can see the comment that I've just made. So this concludes this overview of the new drill through and editing features in the Excel add-in. For any further questions, please um, send us um, an email or speak to our chat team on the acarius.com website.